what you're going to say really worth what I'm about to say back. What do you do when you hear that mega superstars Diane Keaton and Michael Douglas are starring in a movie? You brace yourself for brilliance on every single level. I'm 65. I have sold houses older than you, all right, in a lot worse condition. That makes me feel good. But what I did not expect from my first meeting with these Oscar winners was this. Oh, gee, you're amazing. You you're a amazing. phenomenal uh, uh, physical presence. Oh, really? Oh, uh, are we my on this? God. Yes, oh, gee, you, oh, gee, oh, <laughs> gee. <laughs> I should be che cheering for you guys. Crazy, right? But enough about me and more about And So It Goes. What's going on? It's my son. Wait, who's that? It's my granddaughter. She's probably Guatemalan. Mm -hmm. He had sex with the maid once. This was a part that was set up pretty well for a, um, a guy who had been very successful at one time as a, a, a realtor, a son in jail, um, and, a, and a grandchild he never knew he had. So people get bitter yeah. at, the, uh, at the world. And lo and behold, this poor lady ended up <laughs> having, wait a second, having to live hey, next a door. I'll take care of me. Should I talk about my character? Yes. Will you let me just <laughs> watch? Which he said, it's pretty close to your real self, he said. It, it's close to my real. He just said. He said. I read what he said. No, he Wait said. Are you saying she? Not enough? him. He says she plays close to you. You play close to your real person. There you go. According to him. Yeah. Who said that? Mr. Yeah. Reiner. Mr. Yeah. Reiner said. Oh, Mr. That. Reiner. Oh, well, I take no, it back. I would never <laughs> say that. I would never say that. Because nobody no, knows me, who I think you it's are. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> the Rob Reiner. Michael Douglas and Diane Keaton, I mean, you know, you can't get any better. They're two great, iconic, Academy Award-winning actors. They're incredible. I laughed and I cried uh, and I was mad at M Michael Douglas's character and it was just a lot of stuff going on. I thought I was PMSing because it was too many, <laughs> it was too many emotions for me. Uh, There's an interesting story about how this project came about that's a Jack Nicholson twist. When we were doing the press junket for Bucket List, Every single journalist would ask us, what's on your bucket list? And whenever they asked Jack that question, he would say, one more great romance. And I thought, hey, that's a great idea. And the I idea know, of people way. finding each other yeah. later on in life became an appealing idea. And that, that gave birth to this, to, and so it goes.